Snowpack is where the water comes from to irrigate the alfalfa, which is what enables us to have a high quality forage because we can irrigate. If we had to rely strictly on rainfall, we couldn't do it. And you know, even here in the Arkansas Valley, we'll always have a good crop of hay. You know, even in the dry times, we have a good crop of hay. One of the advantages to this area is the fact that we're semi-arid and that we do not get a lot of rain. Because if we got a lot of rain, the hay would be damaged or damaged in the field before we were able to get it out of the field. So that water up in the mountains is uh, very important to come down through these canals and through the ditch system to irrigate them. from the state of Colorado, most of which is grown here within a 20 mile radius of the plant here in Rocky Ford. Everything that we do use is a, is a premium barn stored second, third, and fourth cutting alfalfa. In the harvest rush, they'll harvest the hay, put it in a barn, and then as we need it throughout the year, the farmers will bring it to us and uh, we'll store an inventory of hay here on site under tarps to ensure that if there is a big weather event throughout the winter that we have stocks of hay here to, to ensure that we can keep our facility running. So after the hay is harvested and stored, um, it'll come in uh, truckload lots, it'll be weighed, tested for quality, and then it'll be stacked, tarped, um, even if it's for a short period of time, and then it's brought up bale by bale and inspected again as it goes into the hammer mill. And then as it leads through the system, it's uh, metered through the meter bin, and then it goes up and it goes through a mixing auger, and it's mixed with a small amount of water, enough water to excite the lignans, and that is what sticks and binds our cubes together. We don't use binders or, or anything. All you're getting is alfalfa, that's it. So after it's made, you know, that day, it goes up a conveyor and is dumped in bulk storage. And we like to store the cubes in bulk storage for as long as we can, a minimum of 30 days to allow them to cure. And so that the moisture that we did add to make the cubes has time to leave. And then we're left with a dry cube. The purpose of the process is to allow the cubes to or to sweat the moisture that it's being added to the cubes as they're being made. Um, we do not use a cooler, which is a, a different machine that can be used to blow air on the cubes to speed the process up. We intentionally leave them in bulk, um, piled on a concrete floor inside of a building to allow that uh, moisture uh, to, to dissipate off of the cubes for 30 days and after that time, they're introduced into the, the bagging system. Here in Colorado, we're regulated by the Department of Agriculture, and we carry licenses here in Colorado and in the other states that we distribute cubes in. And we're also regulated by the Colorado Weights and Standards to ensure that the bag weights are all correct.
if you notice as the bags are going up the incline towards the final approach to the robot, the bag is being stamped with an ink roller that indicates what day the cubes were made. The reason we started to manufacture alfalfa cubes is because we saw a need to feed cubes because of the waste savings. We were always finding that there would be, you know, some crumbs and some waste if we used a baled product. And we were buying cubes in a retail store and just fell in love with them. And decided that we would try to figure out a way to make our own alfalfa cubes and that's kind of what brought us here to do this. Our mission here at Dario Brothers is to provide a premium and safe forage product for all animals that require forage, whether it be a rabbit, a goat, or a horse, or even cattle. We manufacture premium alfalfa products and we cater to everybody from the individual horse owner to the large ranch and home retailer.